Hello and welcome to Amplify Science. This video will provide the information you need to understand the program and start exploring the curriculum. After completing this webinar, you will be ready to prepare yourself and your students for the first day of class. Let's take a moment to learn a little bit about the basic learning approach of every unit in Amplify Science. Every unit in the program begins with students taking on the role of some flavor of scientist or engineer in order to investigate a real world problem. So for example, in the metabolism unit, students take on the role of medical interns looking to diagnose a young patient with a possible medical condition. Or in a third grade physical science unit, students are going to be helping out the mayor of this fictitious city of Faraday, and they're going to be helping to explain to the citizens of this city the science behind magnetic levitation trains. You'll see that students are going to be collecting and making sense of evidence from a variety of sources and through a variety of modalities. And this is really an important part of the program, the do, talk, read, write, visualize pedagogical model. Throughout the course of the unit, students will be doing hands-on investigations, first-hand inquiry. They might also be doing observations in digital simulations, extracting data from those digital simulations, using that as evidence to support their scientific arguments. Also really important is student-to-student -student talk scientific discourse using newly acquired scientific vocabulary, having no stakes moments where students can turn to each other and they can articulate their understandings, they can even articulate their questions. So you'll see that there are many moments written into the curriculum for students to be talking about science. You'll see that there's a lot of reading and writing in Amplify Science as well. So whether we are reading science articles in middle school or reading student books in the elementary program, students are always active reading, going into their readings with a purpose, looking to mark up the pages, looking for pieces of evidence related to our investigation, asking and recording those questions. Writings will take a variety of forms, everything from quick little warm-ups that maybe start the class to embedded formative assessments throughout the unit, and each unit concluding in a summative writing assignment where students are drafting their scientific arguments. And then finally, visualize. As a student, I have these hands-on materials and hands-on investigations, media, readings, digital simulations. I have all these tools that work together to empower students to be able to visualize these often complex, often invisible scientific phenomena in ways that were never really possible before. As we're going through the lessons, we are developing this increasingly sophisticated understanding of the scientific phenomena that we are investigating. Then, right at the end of the unit, there's a little bit of a narrative twist where we end the main investigation and then we present students with a brand new problem. They get to take what they've learned over the course of the unit and apply it to this brand new problem context a really great opportunity for them to show and demonstrate deeper understanding of the topics and concepts that we've covered over the course of the unit thus far. And there you have it. Every unit beginning with students taking on the role of some type of scientist or engineer in order to solve a real world problem. Then we will be do, talk, read, write, visualizing our way through the lessons, developing this increasingly sophisticated understanding of the scientific phenomena that we are investigating, always within that narrative framework that was set up right in the beginning. And then right at the end of the unit, there's a brand new problem presented to the students, their opportunity to take what they've learned over the course of the unit and apply it to the brand new problem.